Hello, my name is Devin Olson. Thank you for joining me on my video series, Installing and Configuring IBM Domino 9 Social Edition on CentOS 6. I'll be covering both 64-bit and 32-bit versions. <clears throat> Again, I am your host, Devin Olson, and this is Part 4B, Firewall Configuration Using Webmin. In our previous uh, episodes of this series, we have installed our CentOS 6 Linux server. Uh, it's a 64-bit enterprise server. We've installed it on a virtual machine. We have done very initial configuration. Um, we have set up our network uh, connection. We have downloaded a bunch of uh, packages and installed several packages. We've set some services and we've disabled SE Linux. Now what we need to do is we need to configure our firewall so that we can have a little bit of security in place and so that we can actually start using the machine in a proper manner. So uh, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and log into the machine. And the way that we're going to configure the firewall today is we're going to use a, a third-party tool called Webmin, which I absolutely love. It's an amazing tool. Um, so we'll get to that in just a second. First thing I need to do is uh, IP tables, IP T A B L E S equals firewall equals IP tables in a Linux environment, meaning your firewall is the IP table service. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to temporarily disable it. So I've uh, told, using the check config command, I've told the um, server that whenever the machine boots, do not install IP tables. And in the event that IP tables is currently running, I'm going to go ahead and shut it down I'm using the service command because it's a service. So I use service, and the service I want to interact with is IP tables. And what I want to do to IP tables, I want to stop IP tables. So there we go. I've gone ahead and shut down that service. So what I want to do now is we want to go ahead and we're going to install the Webmin tool. Now it's a third party utility, it's not part of the normal distribution package, um, it's not part of the normal repositories. So we need to tell our installation of Linux how to interact and deal with it because we want to use the YUM repositories to install and configure Webmin. So the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to edit a repository configuration file for Webmin. So we'll create that file because it doesn't exist yet using our v command. So um, why is my keyboard not working? There we go. Okay keyboard wasn't working for a second, so we're going to use the vi command. We've previously used this to edit existing files, now we're going to create a new one. So vi etc slash yum dot repos dot d slash webmin dot repo. Uh, webmin dot repo. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. It tells me down at the bottom it has created this file. It's a new file. I need to go into insert mode, so uh, shift uh, asterisk I, I'm now in insert mode, and now I can start typing away to my heart's content. Webmin uh, name equals webmin distribution. D I S T R I V. And it's a neutral distribution, meaning it doesn't really matter what distro, um, D R A L, what distro of Linux you're using, this thing should just run. Um, so it's a distribution. Neutral uh, pound base URL is http colon slash slash download dot uh, webmin dot com slash download slash yum. Um, where can um, where can yum find the mirror list that it's going to use? M i r r o r l i s t is available at http colon slash slash download dot uh, webmin webmin dot com slash download slash yum slash mirror list uh, mirror list equals http colon slash slash download dot webmin dot com slash download slash yum slash mirror list okay and I want it enabled and that's pretty much it. That's all I need to do. I'm going to go ahead and hit my escape key to take me out of insert mode. Uh, again, the command to, to write this and quit is uh, asterisk uh, colon, puts me into this 
mode here, and I can enter a W for write, a Q for quit, press enter, and now if I go and I cat that same file that I edited with V, the file is there. So that's cool. Now what I need to do is I need to create an installation directory because um, because this is a, a non-standard file, we have to have a key from the developer that we can use when that that the installer can use for dealing with the installation package to make sure that it's secure, uh, make sure that everything matches, etc. So I'm going to create a directory using the uh, make dir command, make dir install, and I want to uh, a subdirectory into that. J Cameron. J Cameron is the developer of Webmin, um, and I'm going to change to that directory using the cd command. And now I'm going to use that really cool tool that we downloaded back in, in uh, the second video in this series. I talked about how awesome it was. It's called wget, W-G-E-T. That's the name of the, of the, of the utility we're going to use. Um, it's going to go out and get stuff for us. Minus V, verify the thing that you're going to download. And what are we going to go and get? Well, here's the URL for the key for the file I want to get. HTTP, colon, slash, slash, www.webmin.com, slash, J-C-A-M-E-R-O-N, hyphen, key, dot, A-S-C, go and get it. We got it. Just that quick. File's right there. Now I need to use uh, my RPM package manager. I need to import this key so that the yum installer can properly install it, or can properly install Webmin. So I'm going to use RPM and hyphen hyphen, oops, hyphen hyphen import, and I want to import this file, J-C-A-M-E-R-O-N hyphen key dot A-S-C. There we go. I've now imported that, that uh, key using the RPM manager. Now I want to install Webmin. Yum, using the standard yum, minus Y to say yes to everything, install Webmin. And now what yum is going to do is it's going to go to that uh, webmin.repo uh, configuration file in order to figure out where to find the mirror. So it does that. It's going to go find the mirror there. It's bringing in a file. It found, used the mirror list, found the file. It's bringing it in, and it's going to go ahead and it's going to use J, J Cameron's key in order to validate and install it once it gets in. So here we go. Um, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool um, in terms of what you can do with the command line. Once we get Webmin installed, we're going to use it to configure our firewall. Um, and just simply because of timing, I'll do that in, in, in the next video because I want to keep these videos fairly short. So, all right, there we go. You can see it has been installed. You see the com complete. Yay! You know, we can celebrate because we now have Webmin installed. I'm so happy. Um, that's the end of this video. You can read about learning X pages and about my my journey learning X pages at my learning X pages website, www.learningxpages.com. You can read my blog at www.devinolson.net. And if you go to www.notesin9.com, that's a website run by my uh, good friend David Leedy, and it is filled with all kinds of awesome and amazing videos on how, on how to do very, very cool and awesome stuff in notes. I am Devin Olson, and once again, I thank you.